Welcome back to Starfield Shattered Space. This is episode 12. Where are you, buddy? Let's go. Let's see if we can uh, get past this bone crest thing without having to fight it. Is that a trail up there? Bunch of sleep in there, are you? It kind of looks like a trail. I don't think it is. So. Okay. Gonna... Is it? Well, one right there. Don't touch that stuff. It'll teleport us everywhere. Well, not everywhere, it just sends us back away from it. Okay, they don't seem to be as aggressive as they used to be. It's fine with me. So we're still looking for that Varric guy. What is this? This is crap. Some kind of weird sump pump. Well, wherever it's pumping out, it doesn't look very good. Oh, and the sun's coming up. We don't need the light now. I think there's something right there. Right on the edge of the cliff. Oh. Another phantom tower. And there's some phantoms there too. Maybe I can use my sniper rifle. Pick them off. Stop moving you. Yeah, you. Stop moving. And then you move again. Fine. Ah. You're teleporting. That's no good. Whoa. What you come teleporting over here for? Oh, teleport. I'm teleport. Teleport. Jetpack. Of course you're being attacked. Oh, my health. Did you go back? The guy was like, I'm having none of this. I'm going back to my tower. Should be another dude here. Where is he? No, those are male groats. There's two of these here by this tree. Well, there's three of them. One went over there. Should be. Freaking hell, why do these things keep popping up? Holy crap. I don't like those things popping up. Who killed the groats? Why is there green gr gas coming out of there? Okay, 
One of you is still alive over here, I think. Big guy around here somewhere. I shot one of them with this sniper rifle. I think that's his body there. What am I gonna. Jeez, scared the crap out of me, dude. What am I gonna do with these shards? I need them for anything? Oh. Another body. Hey, you're just a zealot. Oh, thank you, med pack. I could use those. I got your stuff, right? Yep. I thought there was one that teleported back here. Hmm, guess not. Save the health packs. Okay, what is that? What is it? Prison? No, it's a farm. It looks like a prison, though. Well, maybe that's supposed to be cages for animals or something. There's a farm up ahead. We should see what they know. Okay. Question the farmers. Farm is it? Why they got them in cages like they're harmful or something? Hello, robot. Please do not frighten the brutes. Okay, I won't. Let's see. Nope. Only thing that shows up is the gate. Okay, let's go talk to the farmer. That's far enough, strangers. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property uninvited? We're looking for an injured young man that may have passed through here. Through here? You realize you're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, he's injured and we're worried about him. I can understand that, but I can't help you. The only people here are my partner Zen and our daughter Mila. No one comes around here. We're isolated, and that's the way we like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't need to tell them that I have authorized to kill them. Uh, his injuries may need special treatment. <sighs> All right, fine. Irina, are you sure you know what you're doing? Zen. Yes, I know oh. quite well. That Never kind of mind partner. my partner. They're just overly cautious. As I said, we're isolated out here. We keep to ourselves. But... We did aid an injured young man a few days ago. That's gotta be Varric. It's too coincidental. It must Why'd be you say him. his name, buddy? So, you said your partner and your daughter. So your business partner or your, your lover? Not that it matters, I'm just curious. Um... Well, I need to know where Varric went. We sent him north. There's a long abandoned growth farm we felt he could make use of. He claimed he lost everything in the incident that swallowed half of Dazra. 
He wanted to start a new life. We even gave him two of our own groats to get started. Oh, that's very generous of you. You weren't... Why would she be... Well, you was major. You weren't suspicious of him at all? Great serpent, forgive my foolishness, but I trusted him instantly. I saw so much of our own son gas in him that I didn't doubt nor question. I allowed him his privacy in what I thought was a time of great need and grief. It's only now that you've come looking for him that I've made the connection. Okay, but you said only your partner and your daughter is here. What happened to your son, Kaz? Well, thank you for your help. You're welcome, and safe travels. If you find him, give him our regards. I will. What was your name? Irina? And your partner is Zen, and your daughter is Mila. Well, what happened to Cass? So we go go that way. We gotta get out of here first. Do you have anything to say now? Good to know Varric got some help. Okay. Let's go. We gotta get out of the farm and go north. You can find a bed to sleep in. Um, yeah, north is this way. Let's go up this trail here, buddy. Come on. See what else we can run into and have to kill. You can't. Oh no. Is that a. Hydroponics and everything. Very nice setup. You got these weird birds flying around you. Your windmill's not going though. Come on, what kind of a trail is this? You do a pack, okay. Who puts these lights here and how do they never run out of power? I get stuck in little tiny rocks. I don't know if that screaming was in the game or in the apartment building. Okay, nice abandoned groat farm on the other side of the hill here. Oh, this is a pretty fancy farm. Apostate's Refuge. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. There's a robot. What, what, what apostate? Camera or bomb? Hello? Is that a person? No. It's a shadow. Well, there's a. Oops. Missed the stairs. There is a groat here. I can hear him. groats fancy little place Okay. 
lots of room. Barracks computer. Log entry two. Today was a good day. I got up early, fed the groats. I think I'm named the female Bella. I'm not sure in the mail yet. I took account of the repairs needed and was at least able to get this old computer up and running. It gives me hope that I may be able to fix up the Model A's that have been abandoned here. And I think I argued with my father over a need for engineering skills. If I ever hear news of deaths or returning to normal, perhaps I'll initiate contact with Tane again. A life far away from serpents and house politics, that's all I really want, but for now Isolated grope farmer is good enough. Everything is catching up with me again. My father, what have I done? The people I left behind. But most of all, I miss my sister. I've never thought all I'd have left of her was a ring. I never thought I'd lose her. And now I'm dying to hear her voice to have her reassure me that I've made the right decision. She's been my voice of reason for almost my entire life. She was always the one I could talk about anything, no matter how big or small or how much she may disagree with me. She should have been the one to take her father's place, not me. I got the impression your sister was a little kid, but maybe she's not that young after all. Or she wasn't that young in the throne. Unfortunately, she went with the explosion. The Model A's are up and running. It should be a good day, but once again, I find myself riddled with guilt over what I've done. I keep replaying the last moment with my father over in my head. It's not even his words. It's the look of betrayal on his face. He responded with anger, but the blow I struck was deep. I told him I couldn't stand by and watch him watch them destroy themselves. But I rejected everything he stands for. House Fatal, House Faroon, and the Great Serpent. And of course I knew full well what my actions would require him to do as head of Minister State. I realize now the position of conflict I put him in. The question remains whether he can let me go or if one day wake up or if I'll one day wake up to Fatal Wardens at my day at my door. Uh, where's log entry one? You seem to be missing that place. Uh, sorry, buddy. I'm going to take a nap in your bed to get my health back. Thank you. And do 
goes to. Mm. Nothing all that special. Where is... Log one. Did we miss a log up here? like um some electricity thing but giant power station but I don't see any oh there's log one first entry of the first day of my new life I hope I suppose I'm a groat farmer now. A long way from the heir apparent, but I'm thankful for the distance. Yes, quite a bit has happened since last I wrote. Tain never came. I had to flee when Vortex horrors found me and attacked. Perhaps I have my father of all people to thank for those combat lessons he forced me through. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my throat went nuts. <clears throat> Some kind of farmers took me. Some kind of farmers? What are you talking about? They're very nice grope farmers. Took me in and helped patch me up. They were respectful of my privacy and even pointed me here after telling them a version of my plight. Sure, my father sent someone after me. I can only hope my remaining anonymous keeps them safe. Well, don't worry. They're safe. Why is Tane outside? Didn't he come in with me? You're awful loud, Mr. Groat. Okay, the bedroom was over there. That's a robot fixing something. Here's a storage thing. I don't want the fan. I want the credits. Take that stuff because I will build a outpost here somewhere. <clears throat> Don't know where yet. You're eating off. Ground. Oh, we're inside a cage. Okay. Oh. Never mind. I'll just leave you in there. Keep you safe. see him anywhere it's been a minute since I stretched the old legs we've been running around for a long time what are you talking about nothing going on out here how about you find anything oh yeah only some logs but Varric is living here never thought of Varric as the dear diary type sounds like it's a waiting game then it seems I have oh. uninvited guests. You want to explain yourselves? Whoa, 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 hey, it's me. Dane, put the gun down already. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your friend. Well, I have to say I like your face tattoo and your, your accent. I'm Vindicator Joshua Wu. <laughs> um, you already know your father sent me to kill you here. 
I wish I could say I was pleased to meet you, but something tells me this isn't a social call. Please, if you're here on my father's orders, allow me to plead my case. Yeah, of course. I'd like to know your side of the story. <sighs> I'm glad someone does for once. I am not sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. I was born House Vethal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State, to worship the Great Serpent. But I want none of it. Oh my god. Uh, Usually a conversation requires two participants. No, usually you wait until the other person says something. It's kind of like you either go all one way or the other. There's not really... The only kind of halfway is like this. There's always a choice. With House of Ithal? Easier said than done. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride and the fear of what it would mean for House Vithal is all he cares about. He looks like he has that... I can't remember if it's an actual disease or it's just a genetic um, thing where... He... Your skin has light patches. I think it's just a genetic thing. Oh, let's see. What does your leaving mean for House Fathal? Shame. Embarrassment. Fuel for the other houses to ridicule my father. I don't want any of that for him, but he left me no choice. If he would have listened just once... Maybe I could have left on good terms with my father's blessing. Control the narrative, as they like to say. Hmm. Well, parents trying to run your life, I get it. Then you understand. All I want is to make my own life. Something Tane understood and was willing to help me with. The credits help too, but yeah, guess you got the whole scoop now. Uh, um, no, that doesn't really explain the tracker. So that's why you were looking for Varric? Yup, we had a few things to discuss. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Varric running off thinking I could just grab him and go. I was also out all the credits he was going to pay me. That's where you came in. I figured, why not two for the price of one? So, now you know my true intentions for leaving, and given the circumstances, I may be here for some time. My hope now is to make the best of it here. Okay, so first, tell me why you chose to leave now of all times. I suppose I owe you that much. The truth is, the scaled citadel was the last straw. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. Anasko Varun eliminated half our population in the blink of an eye. My sister Vashti among them. I could no longer live in a society that won't put its people first. That would destroy itself in the name of a god that has done nothing for us. Hmm. I can understand that. These are so vague, it's hard to see. I value faith more than family.
Yeah. I'll never understand you know, those who value... You what I'm saying? If you shut up and wait, I'd say it. Don't be so impatient, buddy. I have the authority to kill you, remember? I'll never understand those who value faith more than family. Even if your family's an impatient, spoiled little brat. Especially when that faith leads to hate. I hope you can see why I want to walk away from all this. To start my own life. I ask that you give me that chance. Well... I can kill you. I can try and persuade you to return home. But I think I'm gonna let you go. You're free to go, but I'll ask for something in return. Anything. Name it. Oh, you're not gonna like it. 10,000 credits. Do I want the ring in? He doesn't have 10,000 credits, does he? Your signet ring. Victor wants it as proof of death. My ring? Vasti gave it to me. It's all I have left of her since the cataclysm. The disaster took every physical reminder of her except for this ring. Just wiped her from existence. Uh, your sister would want you to live. True. It's as if she's looking out for me. One last time. Take it. I'll find solace in the fact that the ring will remain with my family. And now I hope we are done here. Thank you for seeing reason. I owe you both my life and freedom. Now that's over with. I'm gonna hang back here, talk to Varric a bit. Besides, I don't want to be around when you break the news to Victor. Do me a favor and find me at the Herald's Rest when you're done. Well, you got no ship, so why don't you just live with the guy here in the farm? The other farms run by lesbians, so you can be a gay couple running this farm. It's a pretty big farm. You can dig out this combine truck thing, whatever it is. Okay, can I uh, fast travel? Let's find out. A structure there, but there's that was just called abandoned farm. No apostates refuge. Fifty percent explored. It said, "Hmm, maybe I'll explore the rest of the place before I leave." You guys don't mind, do you? Just saved your life, Thank you buddy. For honoring my freedom. Oh, you're welcome. You made the wrong choice, but you're welcome anyways. This is quite the setup though. What's in behind the locked door? An abandoned farm with a locked door. Interesting. fit in there somewhere. You got no choice, you have to fit there. Electricity sound again. I found a pack.
Might make us too heavy to fast travel. Ooh. Ooh. Contraband keys. Nice. Oh, that was the wrong choice. Go back. That one. Hmm. What are you doing? Why would you go in there? will fit. That's worth walking back to the city for. Until I haven't... Hmm. It makes me wonder if I can go back to the settled systems. And then come back here. Oh. You're an extra robot? No, I won't turn the flashlight on. Oh, it's you making that noise, okay. I was wondering what that noise was. Welding. Oh, you bastard. See, look, you're supposed to fit in there, but... Oh. You don't fit in there. Okay. But you do. Quite a good setup, actually. You can expand your growth farming activities. You can have some kind of weird little animal in in the small cages. the other way. Go this way. Yeah. I figured there'd be stuff up here. Is that where we came in? I'm not sure. These railings are broken all the time. Hey. 
I don't know why they had to give you groats. They're like all over the place. You could have just caught some. Okay, we came in here, but I think there's a, something up top here. And hitting the wrong one. That's a nice little farm. Can we have one? Is that a pile of poop to make your plants grow? We could find an abandoned farm and take it over. Okay, now let's see. Explored. There we go. Uh, fast travel to ship. You can't carry too much, of course. I don't have my buggy with me. Okay. Buddy's gonna stay here. We're going this way. Let's run home. Maybe we can find some interesting things on the way there. I'd like to get back to my ship and put this contraband in storage. We have not found anyone who fences stolen goods yet. Can we go there this friend? Perseverance, yeah we've been there. I was gonna say we're supposed to come back and tell somebody that he's what happened to him. I thought, at first I thought it's these people on the farm here, but no, it's not them. It's his friend slash girlfriend, Bianca, in the bar. But if we tell him, or tell him, tell her he's still alive, she may let it slip to somebody. There's a thing up there. It's up there. Maybe uh, he'll talk to Tane and get Tane to give her sort of a quiet message. Get her to come out here without anyone following her. They can live happily together on the farm. Oh, big giant shadow flying over me. I was about to yell, Dragon! <laughs> That'd be cool. What's the uh, bone crust thing in front of me there? See if I can sneak past them again, I guess. Oops. Too worried about bone crest thingies and ran out of oxygen. You're too far on that side, I won't be able to sneak around that way. What kind of tree is that? It's an unscannable tree, so it doesn't matter. Oh, this is where that water thing was. It's kind of a...
weird sump pump thing. But I don't want to step in it. Stepped in enough things in this game. Who sits here looking at this crap? With a frag grenade. What? Just a giant water pump. Okay. Don't get in it. The group the, the groats. The bone crest things are up there. So we'll go this way. We have to go to that shrine there. I'm pretty sure I've gotten your stuff. Did you respawn? No. You killed some phantoms. What is that? No, that guy. Not the groat. The guy. Who's the guy? Guy, get off the friggin' groat. Okay, you're penitent. The heck are you? Rocky Grub Grazer. Okay. 57%, so I must have scanned some of you before. Dude, there's some bone crust in there. Come over here. I want to talk to you. Uh, I would do anything to sleep in my own bed again. I think I have Vendicator. talked to you before. You look like one of the people that was at the shrine. Like um, their nesting spot. Did they? Are those bone crust native to this land, or somebody brought them here? Hey, dude, you brought that on yourself. I'm not helping you. Well, you'll end up getting hit by a stray bullet that I shot and everyone will be mad at me again? No. I know I'm already losing out in dialogue and persuasion help from Andrea because she's mad at me still. I don't know if she left somehow. Oh, that's what I was going to do. No, not that button. This button. I was gonna check the crew manifest. Oh, she's on the ship. Okay. She's on the ship and she's still part of the crew. Good. I can get her back. I think I'll talk to this Victor guy before I get her back though, because... Last thing I wanted to know is I, in quotation, killed somebody. I don't need any iridium. If I get her to follow me and say, hey, I did what you asked and killed your son, here's your your house signet ring to prove it. Andrea will be like, oh, I don't know how you could do that. The next port we go to, I'm leaving you. I'm like, chick, this ship's been in port for several days now. Get going if you're going. I'm tired of your... Oh, those are farms. I'm tired of your... Uh, 
multiple personalities and but oops <laughs> too busy looking this way I didn't even notice that was a cliff it's supposed to be a farm or what it looks like a water tank to fill up trucks or something Oh, that is one of the farms. One of the seaweed farms. Are you a farmer? No, just the labor. Oh, I didn't even notice there was this raised arc thing here to get underneath the pump. Why the heck didn't you show me that before? What's this thing? Guard post? Well, whatever it is. It's all locked up. Come on, oxygen. Is there a perk that stops that from happening? Where you can move while you're uh, over encumbered? That'd be nice. Another guard tower. Oh, that's an actual guard tower. Doesn't look like there's anyone in it. But with my memory, I've probably been there before and just forgot about it. Oh. that close enough here we go hitting wrong buttons again close enough to this ship cargo hold yes it is thank you very much you can wait before I do that let's do this just to make sure we get them in there Fancy ring. Can I keep it? Oh yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't put his music box away. I'm stuck with socks as well. What the heck? These are kind of heavy. I'm gonna store them. I can put the duck away. Why can't I put the socks away? That's ridiculous. So our resources. Uh, I can't put the the redemption away okay do I have what is this for suppresses addictive symptoms I'm not addicted to anything so it doesn't matter two times jumping height I'll keep that 250 damage I can keep that because the uh, enemies are getting a bit tougher. 25% range. Weapon actions. Yeah, keep those. 
don't need no koza. Now the question is, did I keep, um, oh, you get a suit, huh? How does that compare to my, it has no corrosive, no radiation. Ten, 10 less EM. Plus 5 persuasion chance though. Okay, I'm going to have to see if I can um, upgrade that. Furring scrubs. Really? Those are scrubs? Action juice. Minus 5% oxygen. Mm, nah, I like the persuasion chance better. Oh, cool jacket. Kind of makes it look like Space Ace Gestapo, but still cool jacket. I'll keep that one and see if I can fix it up a bit. It doesn't compare because I don't have a help now. I have a suit that's helmet and everything. Okay, now we can store these. Oh, not that one. Whatever that one was. was that went away but it don't matter let's go did it keep tell the son we quote quote killed the son Here's your sister's ring, or your sister, your daughter's ring. I blew, no, that's the washroom, going the wrong way. I blew your son's head off. Are the you happy now? Strikes down those who not. No, I the serpent does not. Oh, you called me promised. Great serpent be at your side. You too, Warden. I don't know if that's the first time someone called me promised or not. Okay, people. Let's see. These two are going to well, be pissed at me. He's going to be happy. You're back. What news do you bring? Varric answers to the Great Serpent now. Hmm. That doesn't exactly say he's dead. I'm gonna make you feel really guilty. Not really, but probably. I'm gonna say, it's done. Your son is dead. What have you done, Varric? This blood is on your hands, Victor. I hope you remember this. Yeah, actually the blood is on my hands. I have not overlooked your involvement in this. No, it was Varric's choice. He knew the consequences. You were his father. You were supposed to protect him. 
You think you are doing what is right out of some blind dedication, but you are destroying this house. You already lost one child. You had to murder the other. Victoria, I will not hear any more of this. It is done. Leave us. Oh, I am leaving to mourn my nephew whose memory you disgrace with your very presence. Victoria! Leave her be, Luther. The Great Serpent will guide her. She will understand in time and emerge stronger for it. Yeah, I may have done the deed, but I think you went too far. Then I can appreciate a tool that does not question. Ultimately, I care nothing for what you think. Now, only one matter remains to discuss. Did you find anyone who aided my son in his treachery? Yes, you. Uh, dude, you just called me a tool? You're gonna die for that. I'm gonna kill you even more realistically than I killed your son. Yeah. He kept it close to the chest. He told no one. Good. I also have heard nothing of my son's disappearance, so I appreciate your discretion in this matter. You restored order to this house and have my gratitude. Here, the access code that Ekris needs to connect to the power grid. Now go. I have much to arrange. Mm hmm And, uh, when that chick overthrows you, I'll be helping her. You're probably I pissed I would allow him. Victoria her space if I were you. Oh, I have no intention of talking to her. I don't blame you for what happened. I only wish you would have prevented it. Yeah, but I can't tell you how I prevented it. Until okay? next time. So just deal with it. I can't tell you what you want to know. And I don't think you really deserve to know. Do you I have, have some real firepower here, if you are interested. My wares have been tried and tested by the brave soldiers of Dazra. Are you a soldier? No, and thank the Great Serpent for that. Unlike them, I actually have chances to shoot my guns. What kind of supplier will I be if I do not test the merchandise? <laughs> okay, let me see what you have for sale. They will not know what heat them. I don't need firepower. I need... I need aid. Why do you not have any aid? You don't have any, um, credits. I was about to say you don't have any victors, but no. That's not what I meant. I want some aid items. Guess I'll go visit the hospital. Let's go. Our brothers and sisters are standing beside the great serpent now. Well, let's hope your religion is true and they are. And, uh... Oh, there it is. But I don't know, because... That Anasco guy is not as good as people think he is. For some reason that looked totally different than before, but yeah, that is the way we went up there. Are we gonna Proceed. Go As if I was gonna stop for you, <laughs> whatever. I'm a vindicator, I don't stop for security. No one else has that title of Vindicator. Okay, buddy. You set up 
very fast. The size of the cables on that thing. What is this thing supposed to do again? Great serpent guide you in your endeavors. Ah, did Victor finally relinquish the access code? He did. I had to kill his son for it, but you don't care about that. How's your work coming along? We are almost there. So I'm hoping you have the final key to unlocking the morning device's true potential. The power grid access is the last thing we need. Okay, well this slate has the code on it. Ah, excellent. We'll finally have the resources to fully charge the morning device. Now give me a moment to set up the grid. And... Woo, that one finished. Inputting the access code. Head up. I can't, I can't walk. Routing power. Why can't I walk? Wait for Acris. Okay, I'm waiting. <sighs> it is done. Got me stuck here. Vindicator, will you do us the honor? Of course, because you're too afraid to push the button. What does this thing do again? All personnel to stations. Clear the platform. Activating power grid interlink. Powering draft drive. Field projector, standing by. Uh, grab stable. It's a giant grab gun. Can you make a handheld portion of this? Capacitors fully charged. All stations reporting. Ready to proceed with targeting. Aim the morning device. Okay. It's kind of pointing right at it, isn't it? Targeting system engaged. Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna tilt her right up to the force field, okay? Adjusting counterweights. Locking axial tilt. Device is in position. It's time. On your mark. Fire the morning device. Okay, people. Hold on to your socks. Here we go. Fire. Woohoo! shall pierce the shell of the world. Focus. Beam on target. Compensating Power for recoil. It is working. Steady. Oh, you know it's working. It's gonna blow up. Oh, we cannot fail the speaker now. Rerouting power. Burning out. Enough. Shut it down. Coming power. Breath drive cycling down. Ah, uh, the. F what the? Oh, okay, there's Extracting just one of those birds. Force field looks like it's still open. Clear. Well done, all. Well done. Well done. He didn't. We oh. have done all we can. I am sure the council is waiting to speak with you. Well, the field looks less, but I don't know if it's done anything. We've been making several adjustments since we gained access to the power grid. Uh, well, if you got something that can help me, I'd appreciate it. Yes, depending on how much trouble you're getting into. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research, when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. Oh, 
Yeah, fascinating isn't the word I'd use to describe it. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting phenomena. First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they yeah, often he, retain uh... small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. Yes, I think we've talked about this before. And I have to make some grenades or something. So I'll take anything and give me an edge. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice if you have the materials. And depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. I will. I just have to remember where the there is an industrial workbench. Actually, I think I have one on my ship. So we got to go talk to the, oh, the council came out of their tower and they're down here. Fine. What, what, what was all that shaking for? You, oh, you're sleeping. Oh, I thought you were dead there for a minute. I have not seen my sister in days. Great serpent, I pray nothing has happened to her. Oh, your sister's dead. Hey, before I talk to you... We'll need to rely on others at times. But I'd like to keep this investigation mostly between us. What investigation? It's possible the Vortex issues are to blame here. But something about Ukaru's messages make me think otherwise. Okay, can you tell me more about Ukaru Dukkef? He's a good man. A little awkward, yes, but who isn't? As executors tend to be, he is also meticulous and detailed. Given the incident, a lost shipment here and there is almost a given. But I also trust my cousin's record keeping. It's hard to imagine he made a mistake. Did I talk to you about something before? Oh, the supplies. I thought we, uh... I thought we found the supplies. Weren't they simply lost? That is what I suggested to Ukaru originally when I asked him to dig further. It is not until his disappearance that I have begun to suspect something more sinister. But I cannot imagine that anyone with access to said shipments would commit such heresy. To forsake one's duty for profit is an affront to House Verun. Isn't this the lady that... Uh wanted me to find her courier. I thought we found him and he was dead. Didn't we tell you that? Thank you for looking into this for me. You're welcome, but... Salutations. Don't you know, don't you know he's dead? You're the one I want to talk to. Okay, so you're the one with the missing sister that I can't do anything about. No, that is quite a sight. Yeah, but well, kind of useless, though. I was not certain this would work, but it seems the Serpent has blessed us. You have always lacked faith, Dulkef. One could argue that faith got us into this mess in the first place. Oh, be careful. Enough! What you say. It is time for action, not bickering. Agreed. We must secure the Citadel. Send in everyone. Are not a good back? idea. We have no idea how stable this is. 
no idea what is happening inside. It, didn't you have a plan for once the device worked? You saw yourself. We barely had a plan for the device. We are lucky to have made it this far. Because I'm here. Yeah, it seems like rushing things caused all this to begin with. We need to take it slow. Time is a luxury we do not have. Committing a large force is impossible. There have been reports of increased zealot activity, no doubt in response to what we have been doing here. It would be unwise to leave Dasra even more vulnerable than it already is. And, to be candid, we have no idea what will happen to anyone entering the Citadel. We must minimize the potential risk. Yeah. And why are you looking at me like that? I thought perhaps it was <laughs> obvious where this leads. Oh, it was obvious, all right. Because I definitely see where this is going. It is only fitting that it should be you. Why? Really? I do not doubt our newest member's conviction, but... What else can we do, hmm? He is the only one who can communicate with Anasco. Save as much as you can. Save it all, if possible, but... The Speaker must be your priority. Do whatever it takes to bring Anasco back to us. He's the reason for this. And what if I can't do anything? I do not believe we have come this far only to fail now. You must believe that as well. Hmm. Yeah, Serpent doesn't get any credit for this. I'm the one. Yeah, we say we're the one. I'm the one doing all this. Okay, I'll be right back. I pray <laughs> it will be so. May the Serpent guide you on your path. We will speak again soon, I hope. Dude, you gotta have more faith. Enter the scale citadel. Okay, so I guess the force field came down long enough, enough for me to enter it, but I'm going to be entering this, the uh, citadel later on. Victor Vethal executed his own son for heresy. So much loss. And yet, the Ministry of State prevails. Okay, a random citizen knows that. Interesting. Guess he didn't control it. The control all of it after all. Where's the... Uh... Why is the sign saying spaceport? Where'd that go? <sighs> Sometimes it feels like we're ah, not making any progress. You're not making any progress, lady. You haven't made progress in years. That's why you're stuck on this one planet. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Is there a lever on this side? No. Who are you? A child. There's a bunch of... I guess this is where the... Uh, the refugees and homeless people are living. Mother's been busy lately, so I don't see her very often. I hope your uh, mother's still alive. Great serpent keep you. You too, buddy. I like the hair and the goatee. Healer. Hmm. Huh? Oh, Vindicator. Yeah, no, you're exhausted. We all are. Okay, you can't do anything for me. What's this? Apply request. Oh, man. Oman, regretfully I must deny your request for a resupply of med packs. 
the Halls of Healing has seen an influx in serious injuries that has eaten our stock. If you are observing any significant illnesses or injuries that require med pack, transfer the patient to me so that I can attempt an audit. Hinton. Hmm, okay. It's like a refugee camp in a makeshift. Oh. Or him. Hmm. I'll, I'll talk to you after. I am growing tired of this. A few months ago, I would have made you all regret treating me this way. Say that again. Go on then. Keep making your threats. Save your bullets, damned fool. I am going. Going where? What do you want? I want to talk to you, buddy. You? You are the one who spoke with uh, Nasco Verun. And you wish to speak with me? Yeah. Yes. Unless you're busy with something. You misunderstand. No one in Dazra speaks with me. Or even acknowledges my existence. If they do, it is with scorn. And yet, here you are. Speaking with me as if I were a person. Which you begs are the person. question, what do you want with me? Who sent you? Why are you considered not a person? What was all that commotion with the guard? I am not welcome in Dazra. Guards demanding my removal is about the only acknowledgement I garner. The details of that commotion, however, do not presently concern you. Okay, well, no one sent me. I just want to talk. Hmm. If that is true, we should continue this conversation elsewhere. Meet me at my shack outside of Dazra. You cannot miss it. Yeah, I don't know anything about you. Why not just talk here? We will get to know each other well. Just not here. My home is away from trying eyes and judgment. I do not wish for people to disparage you for associating with me. Okay. I'll meet you there. Good. I look forward to having a real conversation. First one in months. Hmm. Twice reformed. I wonder what he did. Okay, let's check out these grenades. And uh, maybe resupply. And then we'll end the episode. And I think the next episode we might find out why that guy is exiled and oh that's a weapon bench and uh no one will talk to him it sounds very interesting i'm pretty sure i have an industrial bench on here somewhere Should have one. Yeah, walking right over there. Hey, this is an industrial bench here. Okay. Where is grenades? Ah, vortex grenade binding. A binding vortex grenade that explodes and freezes enemies in place. What's buzzing, cousin? Needs a dark cyst crystal. Okay. Vortex grenade charged. Explodes and does damage like a conventional grenade. Okay, we got five of those. I'm gonna make four. 
Uh, vortex grenade lure. Summons a vortex horror. What the hell would I want to do that for? So I need a dark vortex cyst to do that. Okay. Phasing. I'm here for you, my love. Okay, my love. I'm a little busy at the moment. Go talk to my other love, pilot. Phases out targets in the explosion. Phases out targets in the explosion. Well, you can send them back. Send them back to where they came from. An unstable vortex grenade with an with unpredictable effects. Oh yes, make some of those. <laughs> what the hell? And that's it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, five different kinds. And I think, I think for the achievement you have to make five of each. I think it is. Okay. Do you want to talk to Andrea? Is she here somewhere? There she is. Are you still pissed, lady? A credit for your thoughts, as they say. Ready to head back out? Of course. Are you ready? Oh. Okay. You just need to sleep it off, did you? Fine. Okay, so <laughs> when we come back, we'll go talk to the Orahim guy and find out why he's been ostracized from his community. And with her following, so we'll have to be very careful where we shoot and throw grenades. But thank you for watching Starfield Shattered Space Episode 12. And I will see you next time. Bye. Get off the mail is lap there, Andrea. <laughs>